Welcome to the Philip Wiley Show. Take a look behind the curtain of professional hacking and hear compelling discussions with guests from diverse backgrounds who share a common curiosity and passion for challenges and their job. And now, here's your host, offensive security professional, educator, mentor, and author, Philip Wiley. I recently had the opportunity to review the new PEN 200 from OFSEC, formerly Offensive Security. This is coming up on my 10-year anniversary of getting my OSCP. It is May 14th, 2023. I passed my certification exam in June 2013. When I got my first pen testing job, it was in 2012. And one of the things when I got my pen testing job with my background, I had experience in application security, had worked in network security, had done vulnerability scans, web application vulnerability scans, managed some third-party pen tests. I had some experience, but not all the experience needed. So one of the areas that I was missing experience in was the hacking piece or the actually being able, the penetration testing piece. I've done a lot of things that would be associated with a vulnerability assessment, like vulnerability scanning and using different tools. But I was missing out on this hacking piece. I did some research and at the time, offensive security was one of the few out there that offered pen testing courses. Of course, there was probably SANS at that time, but offensive security fit my budget better. And one of the things I read online about the certification really encouraged me to check it out. One of the things about offensive security or now offset that some people may not know of is they're the creators of Kali Linux. They were performing penetration tests. So you had content coming from people that were active penetration testers, creating tools and also offensive security. And now offset has the exploit database. They support that and it is a repository for exploits. But at any rate, I took the course so I could learn how to hack because that was one of the areas that I didn't know. I'd played around with some training, just wasn't comfortable in this area. And I knew that I'd have to be able to know how to hack or exploit targets during a penetration test. Back then, the offensive security OSCP courses and certifications weren't as widely known by people outside of security or the pen testing field. There was back then... It was more, more or less practitioners or people in IT that were pursuing these certifications and taking these courses. And now times have changed. Now people that aren't even in IT are finding out about these pen testing certifications. Back then, it was a little more difficult. And now offensive security offers some more entry level material to get you up to speed so you could take the OSCP. And some of the changes that I've seen that I'm really liking now is the fact that it's all SaaS based or it's cloud based content management system and it keeps track of your progression through the course. And I really like this. You can go through, we can see the topics associated with this. You can see here, I started looking through there so you can see how much I got completed. It shows the videos completed. And so it helps you keep track. Before, back 10 years ago, uh, and I'm not sure how long after that, the content management system really wasn't a content management system. You went to the website, you downloaded the videos, you downloaded the reading materials, and that's where you went through, through those materials. And it's really hard to keep up with. But now with this more modern CMS, uh, you're able to keep track of your progression. You're also able to go through and view everything online. So back then, if I was traveling for work, I would have to copy the materials on my laptop that I carried with me on the job to be able to work on the content, to work on the courses. And the labs were accessible through VPN just as they are now. But one of the things you had to download the video files and the content to read, to be able to go through and do these courses. So now it's all online. So you can do this from anywhere. So you're at home, if you're at work and you have some time to study if you're traveling, you're able to access this content. And some of the major changes too, 
that I really want to mention is the Active Directory piece. This has evolved just like the pen testing world has evolved with Active Directory being more common in enterprises. So they have coverage of Active Directory, which is great. If it, the requirement for the buffer overflow is no longer actually one of the requirements, I believe, in the exam. So they're changing with the times. So they get really good coverage of the content needed to be a penetration tester. And one of the things too, that I really like about the offensive security content, you can take some other content and it's really, it gives, they give you a coverage of uh, pen testing, kind of the methodology and the way it should be performed. But one of the things I like about the OSCP content or pen 200 is the fact that they teach you how to manually pen test. To do manual pen testing, that way you're not reliant on vulnerability scanners to perform pen tests. So although they are used in the field, they really help you focus on doing manual exploits so you're not dependent on, on vulnerability scanners. So you can see some of the content there. We can look at some of the video content. They go through information gathering. Also vulnerability scanning, they actually have some coverage of Nessus, which is a vulnerability scanner in map and also into some web application attacks. Cause sometimes even though the OSCP is not a web application pen testing cert, there's a lot of cases when you're doing infrastructure pen tests that maybe your only foothold is through exploiting a web application or a web server of some sort. A lot of the modern Security tools and IT tools use Java servers to host the admin apps. So sometimes this may be a good way to, to exploit these resources and get into the environments. Also, we can see here some of the, we get deeper into the web application security attacks, SQL injection, client side attacks. So there's really good coverage on this course, exploiting Microsoft Office, abusing Windows libraries, we see some antivirus evasion. Now with the current times, this is a little more difficult than when I was going through the OSCP during those times. It really didn't take as much to bypass the antivirus and it's gotten a little more difficult, but they cover that password attacks, finding exploit or actually fixing exploits. Offline resource, lo locating public exploits, offline exploit resources, exploiting a target, Windows privilege escalation, Linux privilege escalation, port redirection and SSH tunneling. So you can see some really good coverage here on this as well as covering Metasploit framework, which is an exploitation framework that's widely used and freely available. One of the only ones out there that the free exploit frameworks. And then you get into the actor directory videos here. So you can see there's really good coverage here. I really like the way that this has evolved with the times. The OSCP is still one of the main certifications that I'd recommend, although there's others out there. If you look at most of the jobs out there, they're looking for OSCP as one of the certifications. If you're wanting to be a consultant, then you're going to see this requirement more often. Sometimes working as an internal resource, you may not see that as much you see some of the other certifications, but when you get into consulting, they need to make sure you know how to do manual pen testing and have some advanced hacking skills. So this is a good way to cover it. As I mentioned, I really recommend the course and this certification. It's one of the, one of the certifications I've seen out there that people with this certification, it typically makes it a little bit easier for you to find a job in penetration testing. So I hope this review was helpful. If you like the content on my channel, subscribe and click the notifications. And when new content is available, you'll be notified as well as check out my new podcast, The Philip Wiley Show. I have a guest from cybersecurity as well as people that work on the pen testing side of things, sharing their paths into security and some really cool stories their origin stories and so on. Check that out when you get a chance. Thanks for watching the video.
Thank you for listening to The Philip Wiley Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. In the meantime, to learn more about Philip, go to thehackermaker.com and connect with him on LinkedIn and Twitter at Philip Wiley. Until next time.